Hey fellow diviners, today I have a tarot deck to show with you guys and it just came this week. Uh, the personal space tarot. Not sure if you can see that. Look at how gorgeous that, I don't know what that is, but how there's a texture over it. And this texture shows all the four suits. So yes, the personal space tarot. Okay, I don't have a spiffy setup to show you like uh, with the camera facing on the table, but let me show you just like that, okay? So this is the really little book that comes with it. Um, to be honest, I wish there was much more than just this thin book. Um, this book covers the major arcana and then gives you some tools to try to understand the rest of the cards. They give you, as you can see, the numerology and also the, um, basically, what each, what each um, suit means. So I think that's pretty helpful for a new new joiner, but uh, tarot. But if you already know the tarot, I think this book um, gives you more insight to the major arcana because there are some changes there. And I'll go through that really quickly. Today is just a walkthrough. It's not gonna be a full review. I'll probably write a review soon after this video about this deck. So here's the fool. I like the fool. Really simple. Really nice. Um, I like the halo around his face. Yeah, I like this. I like this card. I like most of the cards in this deck, and that's why I bought it. To be honest, I was really excited because I really think um this the this deck the, the name itself personal space really rings to me, and I like how minimalist every card is. It's generally about three colors. You can see the red, the white, and the blue. The magician, really nice card. Um, I just wish he was pointing downwards though, because you know, as above, so below, but we all get that. He has the tattoos of all the suits. His tattoos of all the suits. And he's holding a wand. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, just one more thing to say. <laughs> this deck came unordered. It came in a strange order. It came with cups first, and then, you know. Yeah, but I reordered them to show the, the best. Okay, this is the High Priestess. I like how they kept the moon wrapped around her legs. She's holding some sort of orb that looks like a heart. So I, I quite like that as well. And this is the Empress. Really like her as well. Gentle, very gentle. This deck is very gentle. Even the Ten of Swords, which I'll show you later. <laughs> the Emperor. I don't really um, resonate with this card yet, but it's still very nice. Hierophant. The Lovers. Which I really enjoy because I always daydreamed of, you know, holding my lover by the little finger and I like how the sun radiates from where they touch. The Archer. You see, this is something they changed. Uh, she changed. The Artist Amy. I, I'm ambivalent about this change. I'm not sure why the archer is actually being pierced by the arrow. I've not really looked through the little white book yet. And one of my buff cards is the chariot card. So I'm not sh really resonating much with this um, archer deck. So let me look at what she said in her book. Mm, yeah, Ambitious, strong-willed, uh, optimistic gaze. Um, she doesn't really explain exactly about... Um, why she made the change, but she talks about um, pulling the arrow backwards. So it's sometimes you need to uh, gain some negative ground, which is a bit different from what the interpretation of a tarot card, is, uh, the chariot card is. But yeah, I, I I guess I can work with that. Next one, justice. Hmm, typical rendition of justice, which I like as well. The hermit. I love the skulls. I love the cactus. Wheel of Fortune. So you see, um, around are all the main planets symbols. Um, I'm not sure about the position of the hands and what they mean, but I'm sure she meant something when she did this. If anyone knows, please share. Strength. I love this card. I love strength. Let me show. Strength, a gentle heart that burns. I like how the hands cradle the heart. So gently, the hanged man. Death. Life coming out from death. Love the roses. Temperance. 
there's no fire to water kind of thing here, but mm, still, still nice. The devil? Or just card? Uh, I think this has to do more with the occult than, than temptation and being trapped. But if you see the hands, lovely, I love the hands in this deck. The tower card? Mm, depicted here as more of a mountain, uh, unsurpassed. Uns uh, impossible mountain sort of but um, I think the artist talks about you know mountains are to be climbed and they're just temporary we can always get to the other side uh, the star again gorgeous hands and the, the constellations which I really should do some research on the moon card gorgeous I love the moon card I love how the moon is asleep and yet there's that eye this eye comes again in other parts of the deck. Oh yes, I, I should show you the card backings. Really nice. Same as the texture on the on the box itself. The sun card. Like uh, Kelly of the Truth and Story, I, I don't really enjoy baby, so this sun card is gorgeous. Sunflowers. Judgment. This is a card that I don't really know what to say about. I'm not sure why there are these four, the four, uh, the four symbols again, or the four suits again. But yeah, uh, the world card, which I like, uh, is is the Ouroboros, the snake. Okay, that's it for the major arcana. Let me pull out all the wands to show you. Yeah. Ace of Wands, the Two of Wands, uh, traveling the world, Three of Wands. This reminds me of the the Wild Unknown Three of Wands, Four of Wands, gorgeous card, Five of Wands, conflict, Six of Wands. Victory. I, I love that this has a lack of people, and then there's that one taller um, one that is um, ha has the wreath on it, which I really enjoy. And then there's this one, Seven of Wands, another one that reminds me of the Wild Unknown. Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is usually a lot of um, you know movement, kinetic energy, and I don't really see this in this card because it seems quite it, st it seems still enough for the bird be standing on so we'll see about that the nine of wands the ten of wands I love this ten of wands okay why do I love this ten of wands ten, ten of wands usually usually show someone you know struggling with holding the bundle of sticks and then this one if you can see carefully there's there there are the elements that are around the wand so wands depict fire right and this one we have water, air, and earth wrapping the fire. This means, you know, you have an imbalance, you have too much passion, maybe too much, too many burdens from your passions. Maybe it's time to indulge yourself. In other parts of your life, like the emotional parts, the materialistic parts, I love this depiction. Okay, uh, and the good thing about this card, uh, these, this deck itself, the court cards are not really depicted um, as people. So I, I do like that as well, because I tend to read the court cards more internally. The page of Wands. Very simple skeletal hand holding the the um wand here. The Knight of Wands. The Queen of Wands. I wish there was a cat though because I love the black cat in the Queen of Wands. And then this is the King of Wands. Okay, the next one I'll show you guys is the um swords. Ace of the Ace of Swords, beautiful. I love the aces um, here. The Two of Swords, a difficult decision. The Three of Swords, traditional but still very beautiful. The Four of Swords, rest. The Five of Swords. I don't really resonate much with this card. I still think I need to think about it a bit. I think somehow I just don't really get those with birds on them. So let's see. This is the Six of Swords. 
black and white seven of swords eight of swords spinning rain the nine of swords if you look carefully uh, the ends of the rope are outside the border so I don't know if you know that's a hint you know that someone that you can do you can get out of it like I guess if this is your point of view, you can bite the, the rope or something. So, the Ten of Swords, this is gorgeous. I love the Ten of Swords. The swords are all different. And she holds the last sword. So, so maybe it's telling you, you know, be gentle on yourself. Don't, don't, because of your, of your pains or the, all the burdens or all the emotional burdens you have, don't, don't, don't stab yourself. Treat yourself well. Yeah. And this one, the Page of Swords. Again, I said, um, very few human figures. The Knight of Swords, I love the sun in this card. The Queen of Swords. I'm not sure how to interpret this. I, I like to think of you know the Queen of Swords being uh, gentle, beautiful, and still tough. Uh, this one shows the sword stabbing through a flower. I guess we can say that it's a... You no, know, they, they combine well. And then this, the King of Swords. Illumination. Okay, the next bunch I'll show you guys is the um, cups. The Ace of Cups. The Two of Cups. Not sure how this depicts um, harmony and love. I guess, you know... Because mm, it has that... The top cup being full and the bottom cup just, you know, spilling out. The Three of Cups. I wish this has had more, you know, friendships and that kind of feeling. Uh, I'm not sure why one of these cards are bigger than the other. The Four of Cups. Five of Cups. This is uh, depicted beautifully and it's very clear, you know, once you see this, you know. You know what it means, which I enjoy in cards, you know. Six of Cups. Nostalgia, growth, seven of cups, fantasies, choices, eight of cups, leaving, abandonment, nine of cups, I like this, I actually like this depiction of the nine of cups, you know, your your shelves are all full with, with your material things that keep you happy, the ten of cups. No cheesy rainbow here, but yeah, very, um, what is this called? Marseille, this is very Marseille. Here are the Page of Cups. Romance. Knight of Cups. Does this knight fight at all? <laughs> Queen of Cups. Above all emotional, you know, she can take control. The King of Cups. I feel like, um, you know, the rain depicts emotions. The King of Cups can take it. Uh, King of Cups has emotional resilience. And then the last suit, um, the Pentacles, yeah. The Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles. I like this card. I love the hands again. Not sure about the bones, but they're interesting. The Two of Pentacles. Another one that I don't really resonate that much with. Uh, the, you know, it's about balancing of finances, juggling many responsibilities. I guess you can see the, sh the, the trees being, sh the, the, the leaves being shed as something like that. Three of Pentacles, this is very beautiful and simple. I really like this one. Four of Pentacles this is one of my favorite cards in the whole deck. I really like how, you know, she traps the Pentacles under her feet to keep them away from others. I do that sometimes, you know, I just sit on my things. <laughs> the Five of Pentacles. I like this card as well. Very striking and very um, obvious and clear what the meaning is. Um, this has a slight dif a different connotation to the Rider Waite Smith version. I think it's because, you know, the Rider Waite Smith version shows you looking for salvation and this one, you have gotten it. This one, the Six of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles, another one I'm not so sure about. I'll find out. Eight of Pentacles, I love this card. 
Nine of Pentacles. I love this card. I love how she has the bird as well. This is uh, very reminiscent of the Rider Waite Smith. And the Ten of Pentacles. That was the Nine of Pentacles. I'm not sure why I said it, but yeah, the Nine of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles. Again, a skeletal hand. The Knight of Pentacles. In Singapore, we call this money face. <laughs> Basically, you know, you think about money all the time, but uh, literally a money face. Pentacle face. The Queen of Pentacles. Beautiful, gentle. And then the King of Pentacles, another card that I really like. I love his hands, I love the little crown. I'll get a tattoo of that someday, I, I hope. And yep, so that's the personal space tarot deck. Um, I really enjoy this deck. I uh, the person, you see, I really love the box. I can't get enough of it. Mm. And um, yeah, I think um, her s the this is sold at Amy's store and it's gonna be closed for a while. After I'm not sure when, but I probably will link it somewhere down below in the comments. And let me know if you want to know more about the personal space tarot. I can show the cards more in detail. This was just a quick run through. And I'll probably do a review in my on my blog sooner or later. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!